Hi, I'm Mateo and today we finally got the long-awaited pet simulator based RNG game Pets Go. And because of that, I've spent the past 8 hours since the game came out fully leveling up free to play and pay to win accounts so that I can give you guys the ultimate starter guide. So if you are just about to start playing or you've been grinding for a few hours already, I feel like the tips inside this video will help you guys out a ton no matter what. And if you do want to hear more about the best strategies and trading tips for this new game make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more now without further ado let me show you how you can easily beat this game all right you guys so that intro was completely true i've spent the past eight hours it is currently 8 30 p.m eastern time so i've had plenty of time to play the game on multiple accounts including my free to play account here in the middle as well as an additional pay to win account so i have two pay to win accounts going currently on my main i have the best lineup so far and the reason for that actually is because i use some of the tips that i learned from starting on this account and it used them on this account and i was able to surpass both of these accounts here on my main now now on this list that i'm about to go over we're going from beginner to expert mode so there's going to be 12 different tips that i have for you and it's really important that you listen to each and every one because if you don't this game is going to take you a lot longer than it should so starting off with number one on this list the number one thing that you must focus on when beginning the game is to get your coin multiplier up now you guys can see this on the left side of my head the current top multiplier that you can get for your coins is a hundred so every set of quests that you're going to be doing on the right side of your screen is going to increase that multiplier and is going to enable you to make a lot more coins which allows you to buy all of the important upgrades now keep in mind a lot of the quests that you're going to have on the right side of your screen are just luck based and require you to open a certain rarity of pet so that's just going to take time as you continue rolling throughout the game but all of the ones that are in your control like getting items or destroying breakables you must start doing that immediately the second you get it because the quicker you get that the quicker the multiplier is going to go up and every pet that you open is going to be giving you even more coins as well as the amount of coins that you get from breakables trust me you guys this is so important i messed this up in the beginning and wasn't really doing my quests on my other account here and that's why that account is so behind even though i spent a lot more time on him than this account which leads me to number two on this list which is going to be to actually choose your upgrades as quickly as possible when you are starting out now the reason for this is because when you're actually in this upgrade screen you're not actually opening pets anymore it actually stops your auto hatch so it's really important that you don't just sit here and like read through each one of the potential upgrades because that time really does add up and you need all of those opens in order to do those quests and move along with the game now i'll talk more in a second about which upgrades you should be choosing so that you don't really have to think very much but that is another big mistake i made because i was sitting in my upgrade screen for like 30 minutes in the beginning of the game because i thought I was auto hatching while I was in there. So do not make that mistake like I did, but really quickly, we'll just go over some of the first things that you should be unlocking in this tree. Now, obviously you are gonna start up here at the coins. Now, immediately what you're gonna wanna do is go straight down. So go down, 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 down down again and then down to the right because once you get this this isn't going to enable you to actually auto roll while running around the map and doing a bunch of other stuff and then while you're at it also get this as well but then once you're done with that what you're going to want to do is go to the left and immediately get the breakables now the reason for this is because the breakable skill tree is the most important thing besides the questing that's going to enable you to get all of the other upgrades in the game honestly you guys the coin breakables are so broken because then once you actually unlock this breakables thing you open up a whole nother tree that you can upgrade as well now inside this tree it's super important that you do this this is another big mistake that i made on my original account what you're going to want to do is immediately start going down here to the chest upgrades so you're going to go to the large coin piles coin crates coin presents 
coin mini chests and then get both of these chests immediately now the reason for this is because the mini chests as well as these giant chests are ridiculously broken i kid you not you guys you get like a million coins for each of these chests that you break it is absolutely insane i'm telling you guys once you get to this point in the game where you get these mini chests the game is absolutely easy really quickly i can actually show you here is one of my mini chests they don't take too long to destroy but as you can see when i break it i got 1.09 million just from this mini chest here so we can break this one as well see what we get we get another 1.1 million and then the big kahuna is always going to be this giant chest here now at any given moment you can only have i believe two of those mini chests and then one of these big chests so as soon as you see this spawn you have to break it immediately as you can see i got 2.86 million and honestly you guys you get that many coins at the beginning of the game as well so you can go through your upgrades like they're nothing so once you have all of these it's going to be a lot easier to get all the other upgrades in the game personally where i would go from here would actually be up here into the leveling tree as you can see i have pretty much all of these maxed out already so from here what you're going to want to do is get these xp boosts down here and then start moving up into the item rewards because once you get this you are going to get some very good items every time that you level up in game and it's actually really important that you buy these as quickly as possible when you get these leveling upgrades because as you can see you have 94 levels so if you're able to get those item upgrades as quickly as possible you are going to be getting a ton of items for every single one of those levels that you get and then keep in mind if you do even want a sliver of a chance at a huge pay in this game you actually have to go here to the luckier tab and go up to here in the skill tree and this will give you a chance at a huge pet this costs you 1 million coins so i would probably just get this as quickly as possible as well just so that you have a chance with each one of these spins to potentially get one of those one in a billion chance huge pets and then back to the leveling tab these friend upgrades are actually extremely broken right now as well so what you're going to want to do is get the paychecks and then get this friend boost and then on top of that get this unbreakable bond one and then later on when you get these upgrades you can actually get this boost over here which will give you the friend boost no matter what server your friends are playing on and then that boost can go up to a hundred depending on how many friends you have in your friends list so if you have a hundred different friends playing this game at once no matter what server they're on you are going to be getting a crazy boost to your luck now obviously that's going to be sort of like an end game thing it's going to be hard to get a hundred different friends but if you are looking to get some friends for that friend boost make sure you join my discord link will be down in the description below we have a ton of people looking for friends that are playing the game in order to get that boost now moving on i covered a bunch of points in that little rant about the skill tree but the skill tree is very important especially in the order that you pick things on that skill tree now if you are stuck on getting items for your quests on the right side one thing i suggest is using this potion machine because each one of these potions that you buy counts as an item that you get because it pops up here on the right it is definitely very useful and on top of that whenever the vending machine actually runs out of stuff you can go into your upgrades and then upgrade the vending machine to be able to sell the next tier of potions and that's actually going to restock it for you so for example if you need 10 items you can buy five from this vending machine go buy the upgrade and then buy five more because that's actually going to restock the vending machine for you that's also good if you have the quest to actually just buy things from the vending machine itself just a neat little trick it also actually works the same with upgrading fruit as well as upgrading the potions every time you upgrade one of those potions it actually counts as you get in an item as well because it pops up here on the right so that's just a little trick for you guys to get through those quests pretty easily now really quickly we actually have to talk about potions because potions are actually most of what the end game is in pets go by the way i really don't like that name pets go just does not sound good it doesn't flow very well at all but anyways if you played the rng update in pet simulator 99 you'll know that we had the rainbow dice that gave you a ridiculous bonus to your rolls which actually allowed a lot of people to be able to get huge pets in the main game now within this game we actually have something that 
that is very similar over in the potions category. If you go over here, we have these called instant luck potions. So there's actually three tiers of these. There's instant luck one, instant luck two, and then instant luck three. Now at the instant luck three tier, you actually get a plus one million percent luck bonus to your next roll. Now that is an absolutely huge number. And every time you actually use one of these pots, you are at least going to get something very good. And as you guys know, the easiest huge to get is a one in a billion chance. So I think it's going to be extremely hard for you to get something like that without a bonus thing like this. Now with that information in mind, you guys must be buying as many potions as you possibly can whenever this vending machine restocks, because to actually go ahead and create create those potions you are going to need these lower tier potions in order to do so honestly these recipes are very similar to how it was in pet simulator 99 because you had to like upgrade the different tiers of dice so in here you are basically doing the same with these golden dice the rainbow dice and then you upgrade those into instant luck potions and then with those instant luck potions you upgrade them all the way until you get this instant luck three which gives you that one million percent luck bonus now on top of this there is the cocktail that says it lasts 30 minutes and it uses three of these instant luck three potions so that is three potions that give you a million percent luck each so these things are extremely expensive which is another reason why you must be buying out this vending machine every single time that you're able to and then on top of that you also get potions from these chests as well so it's very important to be destroying these as soon as you see them pop up and then the other place you get these potions from which is another point on this list that you must be paying attention to which is the index shop now as you can see i already went through and bought my potions but every 30 minutes this index shop resets and using your tokens you can actually buy Buy up to the tier three instant luck potions so make sure that every 30 minutes while you're in this game you check this out and buy all of the instant luck potions personally i also buy these but i don't really think they have that much use they just speed up how fast you're able to open by like 20 percent or something but it's very important that you do that because the end game is so reliant on you being able to get these high tier potions like if i go back here into the main menu of all of these upgrades you guys can see i only am missing 16 of the total upgrades in the game and most of those are just cosmetics for like the hoverboard and stuff if i go in here we have like all of these booth skins and stuff like that so i know what i'm talking about with these upgrades and i've done this on three accounts all three of my accounts have all of these upgrades as well and one thing i forgot to mention with the index shop a lot of people don't want to spend their index coins because they think it's like pet simulator 99 where you only get the index coins for indexing a new pet. But instead, in this game, you actually get a bonus token for every 20 of the same pet that you index. And then the same thing goes for every 100 of a pet that you index, you get a additional token. So, so every 20, you get an additional token. And then every 100, you get two additional tokens because you're going to hit both of these milestones. So because of that, you are going to get more of these tokens. So it definitely is worth it that you spend these, especially if you see these instant luck potions, because they are just stupid expensive. Now, last but not least, something we should talk about is the wrap system in this game. Now, as you guys will probably notice throughout playing, you aren't going to get any diamonds because there is actually no way for you to get diamonds in the game by just playing. The only way to get diamonds is actually by trading or selling your stuff into the trading place. Plaza. All of the diamonds that are in the game are actually acquired through the exclusive shop. Now, I'm not currently sure what you can actually do with these diamonds at this point. I think it's just a currency for you to be able to trade. So because of that, they actually have this weird like diamonds to Robux ratio. I guess this is just to put like a value in people's heads in terms of Robux of how much these pets are worth. But honestly, I think that is pretty much it for today's video. I did a lot of yapping, but I think all of the information information that we talked about in today's video will help you to complete this game so quickly again i have like 15 upgrades that i need and then i'm completely done with the game one thing you will notice though over here on the board it says if you like the game and they get a hundred thousand likes on it 
they will actually update the game. So maybe in the next day or two, if we get to 100,000 likes, we will get our first update for Pets Go. I guess we'll have to see if Big Games can live up to that commitment. Either way, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this new game and whether or not you've been enjoying it. I honestly can't complain. I think they did a very good job. I can't really see how good the end game type of content will be for a game like this. But in terms of bugs and stuff, I didn't really experience any with my gameplay. So hopefully you guys had a similar experience, but let me know down in the comment section. Hope to see you guys in the next video and peace out.